What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Boat Show with a brand new episode and how amazing it is that we are playing Napoli in the Champions League just like Liverpool did yesterday and I'm absolutely buzzing that Liverpool are through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. If you are excited about the Liverpool Carrier Boat being back on my channel, smash that like button and you can see that Salah grabbed the Player of the Month award for November and we are through already to the knockout stages but we want to win the group because in the other groups there are some big teams who will win the group we only need a draw because we won all our games so far in the Champions League which is an amazing record and here's how the fan challenges look like we scored 66 goals in 26 games which is about 2.5 goals per game on average which is still amazing but I want to do a little bit more I want to score more goals in this episode and also Mohamed Salah has 12 goals in 24 games he's still a long way off the 30 goal mark but in this episode I will also so try to score with him quite a lot of goals and Divo Corrigi plays for Napoli he scored at Anfield in the first game that we played against Napoli in this Champions League this will be my team it's a second string side but still it's a very very strong lineup Suarez Vinicius and Jaden Sancho up front with Shakiri, Henderson the Ox in midfield welcome to the Napoli Liverpool game and there is Diego Maradona's Tifo in the stadium in the Olympic Stadium really exciting game for me because I can test some of the young players and how they are doing against one of the best teams in Europe and I, as I said I'm over the moon to see Liverpool qualify to the knockout stages I really hope that we get to the final but I want to win the Premier League title even more than the Champions League but either trophy would be magnificent so let's go for it starts up front which is interesting and Dejan Lovren one of two of the former Liverpool players are starting for Napoli oh no oh whoa, whoa, whoa what a goal Cassier absolutely buries it into the top corner I lost the ball here with the Ox I took a long touch and that is just a ruthless finishing by Napoli that's what they can do in the Champions League Cassier who is playing in AC Milan in real life Oh, go on. Go on, Sancho! And another one! And ah, Butland saves it. Shakiri, unlucky man. Shakiri's finishing is not there. Oh my goodness. Cassier, another long shot. It's two long shots for Napoli and two goals. This is absolutely ridiculous, honestly. Like, Napoli scoring every single chance that they get. Cassie's long shots are just out of this world. Wow. Oh no. No, Zialiski. <laughs> what a block by the Ox. Ooh, damn. Please, please clear that. Henderson. Come on. You kidding me? Cassie scores a hat trick in just 35 minutes against us. What is this sorcery? I failed to stop the cross and Henderson is just not strong enough. What a header by Cassier. Go on. Wow, really? No. Are you kidding me? I can't believe this. 4 nail. These sliders might be a little bit too overpowered. I, I have to be honest, I give the ball away twice. But McLean not making any saves? Like really? That's at your near post McLean. Come on! Go on Sancho. Get in! No! Are you serious? I need to bring on the big guns because it's, it's just not working so far. Let's bring on Salah, Shakiri also needs to come off for Fakir and I will bring on and I will play like this. So Mane and Salah either side of Suarez, Fakir and I know Vinicius Jr. is not a midfielder but I really really have to risk it. Oh no. Oh Verdi. Wow he's wide open! How can 
can you leave Callahan wide open? Oh, this is getting embarrassing. Five near. Yeah, it's my second choice defense, but still, like, what is absolutely no one marking Callahan at the back post? And of course he buries it. What a finish! Go, Mane. Come on, Suarez has to finish it. Yeah! At least we get to go back. Luis Suarez, come on. It's just a consolation. That is a fantastic run by Mane. And Suarez can even take a touch. Great finish, Suarez. Come on, let's get another goal quickly and let's try at least to make this scoreline somewhat respectable because at the moment it's a hammering. No, are you. All right. Is he going to punish them here? Oh, money. Bang it, money. Blocked. Damn it. Come on. Salah. Finish it. Yes. Come on. 5 2. At least it's somewhat respectable. The scoreline looks a little bit better. Still, to concede five goals, embarrassing. But getting Salah, he is our top scorer, and I want to score as many goals as possible. Good finish by Salah. Come on, can we get another one with five minutes to go? Oh, cool, go on. Let's go. Come on, Mane! Yes! It's 5 3! Oh my goodness! Oh yes! At least we score 3 goals! It's a shame for that first half! What a finish by Mane! 5 3! I feel a lot better about this game now! Still, to score 5 goals is, is really like so bad, but at least we score 3 goals away from home in the Champions League. And Kessie gets the match ball, and look at that! He had 3 shots! And he scored 3 goals. I mean, one of them was a header, but two of them was an incredible long shot. What a game, guys! 5-3, and it was the first half that killed this game for us, because after 4-0, we couldn't come back, but we won the second half 3-1, which is decent. Yeah, I'm, I'm really disappointed. Napoli scored some incredible, unstoppable goals, so I, I can't, couldn't really do anything about this. And Cassie was the man of the match, deservedly so, to be honest. But yeah, at least uh, Suarez, Salah and Mane got one goal each, which is good. And Mane, as a substitute, got two assists, which is quite remarkable. Andrew Robertson is back from his injury, which is really good news. And we get 27.8 million pounds for qualifying to the knockout stages of the Champions League. And somehow we won the Champions League group. That's amazing. Is it because we scored three away goals and Napoli only scored one at Anfield? Yeah, I think it is because actually Napoli has the better goal difference, but because that last goal with Mane, we win the group, so it was vital to come back to only lose by two goals because we meet Napoli by two goals at Anfield and because of head-to-head -head results with better away goals, like we scored three away goals in Naples, they scored one at Anfield, we win the group. I didn't expect that, honestly, after losing 5-3, I honestly thought that Napoli will win the group. So that's good news, but we could still get Juventus, who only finished second in this one behind Hoffenheim, Dinamo Kiev will go into the Europa League but we could get, we, we couldn't, we didn't, uh, we avoided Bayern Munich they will uh, probably play uh, one of the second, second team Man City only finished in second, Roma will go into the Europa League and also we avoided Paris Saint-Germain so we avoiding Bayern and Paris Saint-Germain is really really good we could get VRL which could be a good draw Olympiacos will go to the Europa League we could get Monaco as well that would be a terrific draw how did Leipzig only end up in the Europa League because Monaco beat Zagreb on the last day that's how Leipzig will go into the Europa League, that's a big disappointment because Leipzig got to the Champions League semi-finals so for them it's a huge letdown and we could also get Benfica so scoring 
That last minute goal with Mane was vital because we actually finished first and we avoided a lot of the big teams and uh, yeah, Man United didn't have any problems qualifying. PSV will go to the Europa League and we avoided Real Madrid as well. So Dortmund could be a dream draw, a Dortmund Liverpool last 16 match would be amazing and Lazio finished uh, in third place. And we also avoided uh, Barcelona. So Robertson is still a little bit tired, so let's bring in Tierney, but otherwise this will be my team against Tottenham. And this next game is a potential title decider, because as you can see, we are just one point ahead of Tottenham, who took advantage of us uh, you know, dropping points against Burnley. We lost to Burnley in the previous round, so yeah, we have to bounce back. So let's go to Anfield and let's try to win this game. I will do everything in my powers to do that. Let's go, boys! Welcome to Anfield! This is a title Welcome battle to between Liverpool and Tottenham, the top two teams teams in the Premier League and this is going to be a monumental game honestly and uh, wow Hamsik is the captain of Tottenham which is a little bit surprising to me so here is the Tottenham lineup they have uh, very very good players Harry Kane, Hamsik, Eriksen so it's going to be a tough game they have Carvajal the former Real Madrid right back come on boys Ooh, Keita Balde who is playing for Inter in real life is oh no harry kane what a header harry kane makes it one day at tottenham and straight away they start the game on a fire and i just can't stop crosses and headers because they are so difficult to defend fabinho is late and we are one nil down already we start the game in similar fashion to the napoli game oh no way Oh, Ericsson! Ericsson hits the post! All oh, right. Oh, go on. Oh, what a, what a ball! The keeper comes out! Mane! Hit it, son! Ah, the keeper gets back. Ah, that is annoying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, I hate crosses again. You kidding me? All right. All right, Alisson. Salah to Alexander Arnold. Oh, what a run. Alexander Arnold, go on. Please. No! How did he. How did he intercept that? Fakir. Oh my god. Uh, Tottenham are intercepting everything. Go on. Oh, yes. Oh yes, Alexander Arnold. Oh Salah, Mohamed Salah, and Mane. Why do you not connect with that? That was the chance to equalize. Oh man, that is so unlucky. Oh go on, oh go on, Fakir. Another save by Loris, but finally we are getting chances. Oh my God, Fabinho, Mane. Finish it, Mane! Oh, you got to be joking! How did Loris save that? That was going into the top corner and somehow he gets a hand to it. Honestly, that is outrageous. No, all right, good block, Van Dijk. Good block, and Dele Ali gets injured. I got the ball there with Koulibaly, so Dele Ali can't really complain about that. Put the corner in the middle. Please, please clear that. Why would you tear me? What the hell is that clearance? No, I can't mark him. Oh, wow. What was that? Nice. Oh, that is lovely. Go on, money. Come on. And Firmino can't get there. Wow, my team is very, very knackered. So, yeah, let's bring on the Ox instead of Fabinho. Let's bring on... Hmm, who should I bring on? We don't really have a lot of midfielders. Let's bring on Sancho, put Keita in the middle. And let's bring on Pace. Let's, let's make Vinicius Junior the left midfielder. Mane up front, Salah on the right. Oxlade-Chamberlain. 
Salah. Mohamed Salah, please. He hits the bar. Oh, and the, oh wow. Oh, but we are having Tottenham on toast here. Mohamed Salah. No, Lori saves that as well. Salah is doing everything but scoring here. Come on. Come on. How the why did the, uh, why did I pass? I really should have shot with the ox. Oh my goodness. I wanted to make it 100% sure that I scored. Oh, the Sancho is really doing amazing work here. Come on. Vinicius. Unbelievable. I honestly, I did everything here in this game. That final piece that is the most difficult scoring. It's just not happening. Come on. Please. Oh, it, I block my own shot and that is it. This is very painful. Pochettino must be over the moon because they take the lead in the Premier League. I lose three games in a row. Should I make the sliders a little bit less difficult? But honestly, this game wasn't a problem with the sliders. It was the problem that Hugo Lloris was just insane in his game honestly we should have scored three or four goals we had seven shots on target they only had three ah oh, that hurricane header in the uh, at the beginning i couldn't stop that after that we dominated really especially in the second half let's keep training the young players camacho kent and wilson are improving very nicely and oh wow they got good ratings kent is almost 76 rated which is decent and just to show you the sliders, they are brutal. You could see that it was very, very difficult. So their first touch control error, as you can see, is a lot better than, than default. Shot error, pass error is also, you know, making the AI score a lot more goals. And my sliders are on default, as you can see. So let me know, should I adjust the sliders for the next episode? I'm, I'm a little bit debating myself. And Nabil Fakir will only up out for will be only out for five days. That's good news. Oh wow, the Champions League draw is here, guys! And I haven't checked who we get in the Champions League draw, so I'm hoping we avoid Juventus. That's what I want. No! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, instead of Villarreal, Dortmund, Monaco, Benfica, we get Juventus. Wow, Juventus, Liverpool in the round of 16 of the champions league but look at that napoli will play bayern dortmund will play atletico madrid tottenham will play paris saint germain so there are some titanic champions league last 16 fixtures i'm looking forward to it against ronaldo what we can do and this is why it was painful to lose that game now we lose we lose two games in a row in the premier league to burnley and tottenham and Tottenham take the lead but if we play like we did played against Tottenham I think we will win a lot of games I just really need to improve um, my finishing because that that was the only area where I think we were lacking uh, uh, Chelsea and Man United are in mid table and Arsenal are out of the relegation zone but let's check the Raiders results so Chelsea beat Burnley Man City beat Everton Arsenal and Man United played out on 1-1 draw so yeah, that's a good result for us. And yeah, Man City now now in the top four, which is as expected. You would expect them to be there. Oh wow, we are list we, we risk losing Vinaldum because they have uh, six months or less remaining on his contract. So I will uh, I will extend his contract a little bit later. Here are the top scorers in the Premier League. Salah has seven goals, Keita has six, Mane has five. I really need to score more with the Salah in the Premier League. Here are the top assists. And Alisson kept six clean sheets in just in 14 games. That's that's not good enough, really. We need to keep more clean sheets. But that wraps up today's Liverpool carry mode episode. If you want to see more, smash the like button. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Good night.